be the glory Lord everlasting Father, O oh, everlasting Son, O oh, immortal Holy God, be the magnified. Lord everlasting Daddy, everlasting Son, immortal Holy God, be the glorified. Lord everlasting Father, O oh, everlasting Son, O oh, immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. O oh, everlasting Father, O oh, everlasting Son, Immortal Holy Ghost, be the glorified. Come, Father, come, Son. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and take your place, Lord. Himalayan, come and take your place, Himalayan. Come, Father, come, Son, come, Holy Spirit, come and have your way in my land. Come and have your way in my soul. Confound and consum. Con Holy Spirit, con man of your way, in my land, con man of your way, in my land. I'm in love in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I'm in love in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Oh, I'm in love in Jesus Christ, 
Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I'm in love with Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, in love with Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I'm in love with Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, oh, I'm in love with Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I'm in love in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. If you are in love in Jesus, why can't you begin to appreciate the Lord for the gift of life He has given unto you? Why can't you begin to appreciate Him for His kindness upon your life? Appreciate the Lord this morning. Open your mouth and thank Him for the gift of life, for what He has done this morning, for giving us another day, for giving us the privilege to gather before Him. Let's appreciate Him. Let's give thanks to Him. Let's worship Him. Let's reverence His name because He's worthy to be praying. Let's give thanks to him because he's a young Dantaya. He's the keeper of history that kept us alive. He's the redeemer of the world. If not God, where could we be? If not him, our enemy could have finished us. If not him, our enemy could have destroyed us last night. But the Lord make it possible for us to wake up. We wake up. It's not because of our power. It's not because of anything we have done, but because of his mercy. It's because of his kindness. Is because of his love towards us. Appreciate him. Thank him on behalf of Good Morning Church family. Bless the Lord because he's good. Oh, my Father, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you glory because of who you are. We give you glory because there is no God like you. We thank you because you are alive. We thank you because you are worthy to be praised. We thank you because your mercy endure forever. We thank you because you, a Lord, is our comforter. We thank you because, my Father, there is no God like you. Only you is our God. Only you is the only God we know. We put our trust in you. We put our confidence in you because you have authority over all. You are our Father, we are your children. You are the one that created us. Father, we exalt you. Lord, we glorify your name because your mercy endures forever. Your mercy is everlasting from everlasting. Your mercy changes not, but you change our situation. Father, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful for the life you give to us. We are grateful, O Lord, my Father, for making it possible for us to gather in your presence once again. Lord, we say, be thou glorified, be thou exalted, be thou magnified. Lord, receive on the glory this morning, Lord. For you, a Lord, is worthy to be prayed. For in Jesus' name we pray. His Lord. Is Lord Amen. He are risen from the dead. He is the Lord. Every name must bow. Every tongue to fail. Thou Jesus Christ is the Lord, is Lord, is the Lord, yes, Emmanuel is Lord, Amen. Every 
tu tu fen da o jesus christ is the lord is lord is the lord yes emmanuel lord amen he arisen from the dead he is the lord every name shall bow every tongue to fan thou jesus christ is the lord Adam, we are here jesus we are here holy spirit we are here we are here for oh, you immortal we are here even say bogo we are here i don't know we are here we are here for you jiova we are here jiova we are here jiova we are here we are here can't you talk to him why can't you tell him you are here why can't you tell him i have come why can't you tell him to have his way why can't you tell him to come down why can't you tell him lord i can't do without you holy spirit of the lord i am here in your presence jesus i have come before you I am Nathaniel, you our father. You a Lord is the most high. You a Lord is our sustainer. You a Lord is the one that has authority over us. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to Jesus. Tell him, Lord, I am here in your presence. Lord, I am here our father. Talk to him this morning. Tell him to read in your life. Tell him to come. Tell him to have his way. Tell him, Holy Spirit of the Lord, I have come before your presence because you are the Lord. You are the God that never lies. Lord, you are the God that never fails. Lord Jesus, let me hide in you. The Lord that never fail let me hide in you because you alone is the one you have the protection only you can protect us only you can save us only you my father can deliver us from the hands of the evil one Lord take on the glory Lord take on the honor Holy Spirit come and have your way Lord have your way in Allah that at the end your name will Lord be glorified. Be thou exalted, Father. Be thou magnified. Be thou glorified. Take on the glory, my Father, in glory. For you, the Lord, is worthy to be prayer. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In a my hand, in a my hand, 
In a my soul, in a my soul, Lord, I want to be like Jesus. In a my heart, in a my heart, in a my heart. In a my soul, in a my soul, Lord, I want to talk like Jesus. In a my heart, Lord, I want to live like Jesus. In a my heart. Lord, in my heart, in my heart, in my soul, in my soul, Lord, I want to live like Jesus in my heart. Why can't you tell him, Lord, I want to live like you. I tell you, my beloved brothers and sisters, the great desire for somebody to desire in this time is to be like Jesus. When you can talk like Jesus, things begin to work well with, for you. When you can live like Jesus, when you can pursue peace like Jesus, when you can pursue purity like Jesus, when you can pursue souls like Jesus, I tell you, beloved, things begin to work for you. You don't need any other miracle. You don't need any other miracle. The only thing you should do is for you to be like Jesus. The only thing you need to do is for you to preach like Jesus. For you to be holy like Jesus. When you are holy, you see the righteousness of Abraham. The righteousness of Abraham bring blessings to Abraham, bring blessing to you and I, just for the sake of his obedience. This morning, you are going to tell the Lord, say, Lord, I want to live like you. I want to talk like you. I want to be holy like you. I want to be gentle like you. I want to be humble like you. I want to be calm like you. Lord Jesus, this is my heart desire. Why can't you cry to Jesus right now? Why can't you tell him, Lord Jesus, this is my heart desire. It is my heart desire because hell is free. Heaven is free. My heart desire is to live for you. My heart desire is to come close to you. My heart desire is to be patient like you. My heart desire, oh Lord, this is my heart desire. My heart desire is to obey you day by day, now by night. Why can't you cry to Jesus now? Why can't you tell him to come? Why can't you tell him, Lord, this is my desire. I have desire to be like you, eternal Father, invisible and the only wise God. Father, my heart desire is to live like you. My heart desire is to be holy like you. My heart desire is to preach gospel like you. My heart desire, O oh Lord, my Father, is to do your will because I have not my will. Lord, is to live for you all the days of my life. O oh, eternal Father, this is my prayer. My prayer, O oh Lord, my Father, is to obey your word, is to live for you, is to live in peace, live in peace with all men. Lord, is to be patient, O oh Lord, my Father, to be gentle. To humble myself, O oh Lord, my Father, my heart desire is to be with you in heaven. My heart desire, O oh Lord, my Father, is to keep myself pure in living a holy life. Living, O oh Lord, my Father, the life that will not offend you. Because I know if I can live a holy life, my Father, you are able, O oh Lord, to do everything for me. Lord, I know that. Lord Jesus, I know that assurance. Holy Father, we are calling on you, Father. This is our request this morning. Lord, today is another day. We have requests to be like you. 
We have request to talk like you. We have request, oh Lord, my Father in glory. Lord Jesus, we want to be pure. To live the life, oh Lord, my Father in glory, you desire. Not the life we desire. Lord, I need your purity. Lord, I need it, oh Lord, sanctification. Holy Spirit of the Lord, help us, oh Lord, my Father, that at the end, your name will be glorified. Be thou exalted, Father. For you alone is worthy to be prayed. For in Jesus' name we pray. The, praise the Lord. This morning we are going to pray and tell the Lord all the pursuers of life that are pursuing you, chasing you up and down. That are chasing you for you not to serve God. They are chasing you, bringing ugly situation into your life. Bringing sickness into your life, disappointment, failure. They have made you to become unfaithful. You want to be faithful to God, but they have made you not to become unfaithful. All the evil activities in your life, evil projects against your children, against your husband, against your marriage, begin to pray right now. Tell the Lord to frustrate all of them. All the evil projects in my life, all the evil projects. Tell God to frustrate them. Tell the Lord to scatter them. Now, begin to pray right now. Tell the Lord all their evil activity. Let God arise. Let God arise. And let the enemy be scattered. Let God arise. And let the enemy be scattered this morning. Begin to pray right now. Tell the Lord where they are all their evil enchantment. Evil enchantment. Evil activity, whatever they have planned, where they have planned it, or the evil shura, evil altar, where they have planned against you. Let those evil altar right now be scattered. Begin to pray and talk to God. Tell the Lord to arise. Tell the Lord to frustrate them. All the evil activities, those that want to put you in bondage, let God visit them with His anger. Those that say no way, then things will not work for you. Those that say you will not have your freedom. Those that say you will not enjoy your Christianity. Those that say you will not make heaven. Those that vow no way from you, from you to live peace with in your marriage. Pray and tell the Lord. Those that say you will not enjoy the fruit of your labor. Where they are, let Jesus visit them. Our God is a God, is a fighter. Tell him to fight for you. Tell the Lord, this morning I ask you to fight my battle. The Lord will fight every battle of your life. The Lord will fight every battle of your soul. The Lord will fight every battle right now. God, my Father in glory, you alone is the Almighty. You alone is our Father. Lord, you are able to deal with all the evil activity. Lord, all the evil pursuer, pursuing us day by day, chasing us up and down. Where they are right now, I ask of your visitation. Father, those are vow, O oh Lord, we will not enjoy it, O oh Lord, our Christianity. Father, are you not going to visit them? Lord, I ask you to visit all the enemy of progress in my life. Father, all the evil men, evil women, Father, fighting against us day by day, number nine. Lord, I pray this morning, O oh Lord, to make all their plan to be useless. Father, useless all their plan where they are pursuing us. Father, all the members of this group, they are in your hands. Father, those that are in Europe, those that are in Asia, those that are in America, Lord, where they are they? Are they in Canada? Are they in South Korea? Where they have connected? Are they in Africa? Holy Ghost fire begin to pursue all the pursuers, all the evil activities, all those that are fighting against them that say that your, it will not be well with your children. Lord, who is it that can cause when you have blessed? Lord, you make us to understand in your world that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Lord, there is nothing too hard for you to do. Therefore, Father, give them open shame that want to give us shame. Lord, give them sorrow that want to give us sorrow. Lord, give them heart attack that want to give us heart attack. 
Lord, bring them down that want to bring us down. Lord Jesus, I pray all the evil pursuer in the dream. They are coming in different angle. Lord Jesus, you our Lord. You alone is able God. Father, fight our battle in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the Holy Name, Father. For you alone is worthy to be prayed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Lord. Lord, all the evil project, I command them this morning to be useless in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the Holy Day because you are able to do it, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. My beloved brothers and sisters, believe that it is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. God will frustrate all the plans of the enemy in your life. Those that say, ah, you are in Europe, let's see how you are going to have documents. They have used document issue to hold you captive, but the Lord will set you free. Where the enemy have tied you right now, bringing trouble for your father's compound. I command those evil trouble coming to you right now. I command them to return to sender in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord has made me to understand whosoever that dig the pit must surely for poo. Every evil pit they have done for you. Right now, I command those that are dig those evil pit to fall on it in the name of Jesus. I pray this morning as you decided to keep him into the project of the Lord. May the Lord keep him into your life in the name of Jesus. You will not die. You will live to testify the goodness of the Lord. All the pregnant women, Lord, I present them to you. I ask you to keep them. They will deliver like a Hebrew woman in the name of Jesus. Those that are saying, Lord, when will I have my children? When will I get married? Lord, when will I have my job? Lord, when will I have peace in my life? Lord, I pray because your blessing added no sorrow. Lord, I pray, oh Lord, this morning you will visit them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way in the life. That at the end, all glory and honor be unto you. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon every member of this group, both those that are already there in Africa, that travel to Africa. Lord, you will protect them. You will guide them. You will save them for the hands of the evil one. That at the end, we have the cause to rejoice, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we pray. Praise the Lord. You are all welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want to thank God yesterday of returning me back to my city. And I thank God for his mercy journey again. And I want to appreciate him. Um, this morning, I received a message for a sister. I believe she lives in France because of her. She said that uh, she heard of her. Uh, the message uh, that I preached yesterday and that uh, she was interested to make sure that uh, she helped us to translate our 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 tracks to uh, Fran uh, to French and I'm going to contact that one later please you can see the people on zoom the, also this is the one of English is available this is the one of Italy is available but we are still going to, as I said, we are going to do the one of uh, Dutch and uh, French. I'm going to contact that sister later so that uh, she can help us for that uh, one of uh, French. Uh, by the help of the Lord, you can see our new brochure. The people on Zoom, are you seeing it? Yes, sir. Are you seeing it? Huh? Yes, yes, sir. This is our new brochure. Glory be to God is uh, uh, is Italian people that help us to do this one. Uh, the 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 woman the the one of the sister uh, woman help us to design it. Why another another Italian person print printed two hundred copy for us yesterday free of charge. She used her money to print it. You can see it by the help of the law. Also, you I believe this one is more better than the one we have before. Am I right? Yes. 
you can see it and uh, we are still going to translate all these all these ones to different language to Dutch and uh, to uh, French and uh, to make sure that uh, the people can understand what we are what we are what we are having what we are doing please I uh, if you need if you have people that you want to share it uh, to as um, we need to print more copy so that we can distribute it because it is a time for us to see how we can for, for this uh, program to rob the world and for the program to move out to the world you and i must be a part of it because of uh, we are going to do uh, the, the whole the, those are the major three language we are going to do now uh, no four language which is the uh, english italy and the uh, dutch and the uh, and the french so that we know that we have all those uh, four language as god helping us as we are going or that uh, other language can be coming but these are the four major uh, four language we are going to do now and uh, you know for us to do that we are going to spend a, a morning to print them and uh, other uh, uh, other thing i uh, please if you know that you can help us to translate it from uh, uh, to for uh, to all those language you are free to contact us and if you want to help us maybe you have you want to help us to print them also you are free to to contact us it's very very important so that uh, the program can be can reach out to where God wants the program to reach out to because the what is holding us now we are having nobody that we have shared our vision to that the person will tell us that this vision is not a, a great vision but it's a great vision there are many adversary we are being limited by fund and uh, we need to do all our possible best to make sure that uh, we spread the gospel at all costs to reach out to the world souls are dying souls are going to hell but you and i must be a part of uh, this program so that at the end the name of the lord be glorified in jesus name Amen. are we happy with that are we happy with that yes sir are we happy with it yes sir god, god bless my people i know my people they are they will be happy saying that we are going for we are going forward because God is going to limit those that want to limit us. Amen. Good morning, Jesus Family Amen. Foundation must rob the world. That is the determination of the Lord. He must rob the world, but you must be a part of the people that will say, No, in where I am living, in my country, the country where I am, in Benjamin, in Austria, in Holland, in Denmark, in uh, Germany, in uh, France, in, Je in Italy. In Sweden, where you are connected in America, in Canada, all over the world, in Nigeria, you should be a part. Say, no, I want to be a representative. A representative that through me that this program must work, must rob the world. Being a part of God's program. That is the only the best thing you can do. Let's go without wasting time to the book of First King. I don't know why God uh, take me to this place this morning. First King chapter 5. We are going to take it from verse 1 to the end to 18 without wasting time. First King chapter 5. Please, are we there? Yes. Always learn how to open your Bible. I expected that nobody on this group, that nobody, nobody will tell me that you don't have your personal Bible, not those Bible on phone. <laughs> I expected every member of this group to have a copy of Bible one or two. Every member of this group. Don't go with iPhone or iPad to tell me you have your that is where you have your Bible. No, you must have your copy of your Bible with you. Please. I believe that nobody nobody will tell me on this group you don't have your Bible. Eh? Am, am I communicating? Yes, sir. Yes. Please, let nobody to say my phone is my Bible. No, your phone is not your Bible. Please. Are we there now? Yes, sir. Please go ahead if you are there to read, please. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servant unto Solomon. Your voice is very low. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent his servant unto Solomon, for he had heard that they had anointed him king in the room of his father. For Haran was ever a, a, a lover of David. And Solomon sent to Haran, saying, 
Thou knowest how that David, my father, could not build a house unto the name of the Lord his God. For him, for the war which we are about him on every side, until the Lord puts them under the sole of his feet. But now the Lord my God have given me rest on every side, so that there, so that there is, so that there is neither adversary nor evil on current. And behold, I propose to build a house unto the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord spoke unto David my father, saying, Thy son, whom I will set upon the throne. In, my, in thy room, he shall build an house unto my name. Now, therefore, command thou that they have, they have, they hold me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servant shall be with thy servant, and unto thee will I give her for thy servant according to all that thou shall appoint. For thou knowest that there is no, not among us that can heal to, to hand timber like unto the uh, Sidonia, Sidonia. And it came to pass when Hiram heard the word of Solomon that he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, which has given unto David a wise son over this great people. And Aaron said to Solomon, Say, I have considered the things which thou sentest to me, sentest to me for, and I will do all that desire concerning Tiber of Syria and concerning Tiber of Fire. My servant shall bring them down from Lebanon unto the sea, and I will I will convey them to by, by sea in, in floats unto the place that thou shalt appoint me, and I will cause them to be discharged, discharged there, and thou shalt receive them, and thou shalt accomplish my desire, and give him food for my household. So Haran gave Solomon a cedar tree, and fair tree, according to all this desire, and Solomon gave Haran 20,000 measure of bread wheat of food to his household and twenty measure of pure oil. Thou gave Solomon to Hiram year by year. And the Lord gave Solomon wisdom, and he promised him, and there was peace between Aaron and Solomon, and they two made a live together. And, the, and, and King Solomon raised a levy out of all Israel, and the levy was 30,000 men, and he, went, he sent them to, to Lebanon, 10,000 a month by course, a month that year in Lebanon, and two months at home. And Adoniram was over the levy, and Solomon had three score and ten thousand that bear body and four score thousand going in the mountains beside the chief of Solomon's officers which were over the work three thousand and three hundred which rule over the people that worked in the work and the king commanded and the king commanded, and they brought great stones, costly stones, and burnt stone, to lay the foundation of the house. And Solomon built, and Solomon built, Solomon's builders and Haran's builders did burn them, and the this uh, stone quarters. So they prepared table and stone to build the house. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The topic says, I propose to build a house unto the Lord, unto the Lord, unto, unto the Lord, the name of my Lord. 
I propose to build a house unto the name of the Lord. That is the topic of this morning. I propose to build a house unto the name of the Lord. This you could see that David, the father of Solomon, could not build the house of the Lord. Why? Because there was a lot of a, a lot of trouble that came on him, but at the end, David, you know, David is a fighter, is a defender. David fight battles, different kinds of battle, great and small, mighty and uh, and mighty and all. You could you could see that. Uh, I believe you know that how David, small boy, that time the uh, God called him. How he kicked the, uh, Goliath. Why? Because David was the man of war. David was a man of war until the time of his son. And the Lord's promise, because you could not build the house because of all this trouble, and uh, this trouble was about to over uh, was about to take the people of Israel. But David was sent to make sure that he defend his people until the time of Solomon. Then you could see in verse, uh, in verse uh, 3 and 4, I read from verse 4, it said, But now the Lord my God has what has given me rest, have given me rest on every side, so that there is neither adversary or no evil or call. Are you seeing it now? That the Lord give me rest every side, and I pray that the Lord will give you rest in every side, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you rest in every area of your life. If not, because if none that so as uh, uh, David fight the battle, so David is the one that fight all the battle before Solomon his son came. You could say that when Solomon his son entered, Solomon his son having this assurance that the Lord has given him rest. Why? Because God used his own father. To fight every battle of his life. After the battle was over, and now David uh, uh, Solomon could have uh, could have the power to build the house because there is no adversary, there is no evil. Every side has been protected by the law. In verse five, where we take our desk, see, and now and behold, I propose to build a house. Unto the name of unto the name of the Lord my God, as the Lord spoke unto David, my father. Are you saying it now? Saying the son who I will send upon the true in the room, he shall what he shall build a house unto my name. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, I want to tell you where you are this morning, where you are hearing my voice. The Lord have anointed you to what to be his own child. Are you saying it now? The Lord have anointed you to be what? To be a king and to be what? And to be queen. Where you are connected. The Lord, as long as you have now what? You have not choose by the Lord. As long as you have given your life to Christ. You have surrendered your life to Christ. You have accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You have decided to serve God. You have decided to live for him. You have decided to be with him. The Lord have what? The Lord have choose you. The Lord have choose you out of all other, other people. For you to be his representative. For you to be his choosing one. For you to be his follower. For you to be his what is representative where you are as an ambassador. As an ambassador to build the house of the Lord. As an ambassador to build the house, building the house of the Lord, bringing people out of darkness, bringing them to the glorious light of the Lord, that they may be what, well, that they may be prepared for rapture, because rapture is about to take place. But most of people, most of Christians are still in darkness. In darkness, have not yet key in into what, into the commandment of God. They have not yet in, they have not yet ready to what to say no I love righteousness and I hate iniquity. But the Lord wants to use you and I 
as what as an anointed son as a chosen generation as a royal priest oh to what to build that wish that have been broken that wish that have been abandoned for many years that wish that have been abandoned god want to use you to what to raise it all that who is ready this morning are you ready to do that are you ready to say no i decided to build what have been broken we could see that solomon make a decision a decision that if he did not he must build the house of his god before he build his own house that should be a desire of a believer that should be a desire of a sincere christian a somebody that really love god that is the desire to say no i see this day people want to build house i yet people don't want to go to evangelism yesterday before leaving the place i traveled to i was asking the people the telling people that came to me that came to see me in three session before going away i was asking them how long when last do you go to evangelism when last do you you say you claim you are a christian when last do you carry your bible you are on the street you want to evangelize the the, the people the people were sure i said because you people are busy you people are busy busy of looking for money busy you want to work you want to make things okay but this is getting wrong because we have neglected the building of the Lord to build the temple of the Lord bringing people out of that name bringing them to the glorious light we have neglected that praise the Lord Hallelujah. praise the Lord Hallelujah. Bu building the temple of the Lord is a necessity for every believers making the how the temple of the Lord to be so wonderful to be so glorious it is a necessity it is very very important to every believers this period but today many people are not what are no longer interested anymore to see how things is going yesterday i was talking to one of my sister i said sister now god have given us this vision but how how are we not doing all our possible best to say no this vision of good money George family foundation i keep in i keep in i know that is a project of the lord but how do we take it serious? If this group must rob the wall right now, if it will rob the wall within six months, it all depends of your work and my work. It is all depends of how we join hand together to say no. Now we are 30, we are 40, we are 50, we are 60. It is too poor. It is too poor. 60 by now, it is too poor. 100 by now, it is too poor. 200 by now, it is too poor. How? Because we make up our mind to say, no, I must work. We must do the work. Doing the work to make sure we build a solid house from the Lord. Building people that have the fear of the Lord. Building people that have been separated away from the world. Building people that have been separated away from sin. Building people that understand, that say, no, I, will, I, am, I know that Jesus is a holy God. I cannot accept anything sin. Building such people. Bringing them out of what because people are adorned today in the church. People are in the church, they are practicing religions. Practicing religion, they have not yet what they have not yet said. They are still practicing idolatry. They are still practicing it doesn't matter. But who is ready? Who those people that are blind? Who is going to bring them out when you did not decide to say, no, I must build the temple of the Lord. If my money cannot build my word, my mouth must build. build it, bringing people. What are you doing? You are building the kingdom of God. Bringing people to the house of God. Making people to know the time. What happened? You are building the house of God. It is very, very worth important. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Solomon made a decision. Solomon decided that he must build the temple of the Lord. Solomon did not look for anybody because Solomon had the capacity to build it. Now many of you have the capacity to preach. Are you preaching? Many of you have the capacity to build the house. Are you building? You think that when you build, when you build the temple of the Lord, that it belongs to somebody. No, it's been, as long as it's the temple of the Lord, 
As long as I am, have the capacity, I have the resources to build it, why can't I build it? And what? And forget the other issue. And forget talkative. Today, many people are not building the temple of the Lord with talkative. Many people are not building the temple of the Lord with evil money. Many people are not building the temple of the Lord with different atrocity. The topic say, I propose to build a house unto the name of the Lord. Is that your desire? But that is not the desire of pastors today, many pastors. That is not the desire of many Christians. That is not the desire of many bishops. The desire of many pastors, many bishops, many Christians today is to build their own personal interest and to build their own house. Not anymore. For the, to, build, to build a jet, to have their own personal jet. This is the desire of pastors. This is the desire of people. People, pastor like Fumi, uh, pastor like Fumi, you hear what she said. This is the desire of these people. Desire of the material things of this earth. No, they not according to the standard of God. Not according to the will of God. But Solomon said, no, I will not build my house. Did Solomon build his own house? Did Solomon build his own house before the temple of God or temple before his own house? No. Eh? No. Eh? Build the temple of the Lord first. Solomon, that is the desire of a somebody that have interest, that love God, that love his God, and no, I don't need to build my own house first without building the temple of the Lord. That was the first desire of Solomon. Why? Because Solomon loved the Lord. He obeyed as the instruction was the instructions was given. This is what the Lord said concerning your father that you will build the temple. Solomon did not say, Why will I build the temple of the Lord? I the king, I the king, I have not built my house. But today, pastors are now building their own selfish interest of houses. I pray God of heaven will return us back. To the standard of God, to the standard of His calling, because God has called us for His own standard. Let's read. I pray God help us this morning. Let's read Second Samuel chapter 7, 12 and 13. Second Samuel chapter 7, 12 and 13. Are we there? And when, and when and when be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy father, and and we set up the, the, the seed after thee, we shall proceed out of the bow, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. That is amen. It. amen. That is the word of God. That is what the word of God. You have seen the project God has started with us, but many people today don't have interest anymore to build it anymore. Why? Somebody have told you you are a mumu, you have been in Europe, you have not built too flat for yourself. You are mumu. Today, people are not what people want to follow what other people are doing. I'm not interested. I can boast to tell you, even in that country, Nigeria, I don't have my personal land any longer. Or the land that I bought before belongs to belongs to Good Morning Joe Family Foundation. I'm not interested. Why? Because I know I am passing by. I'm not telling you it's not good. It's yeah. good. Are you hearing me now? I'm not telling you it's not good, but it is good. Somebody that loves the Lord must know what God requests for him or her. This is what God requests for me to do. And that is what I am doing with what? With joy, with happiness, without murmuring. I'm happy of doing it. I don't mean it take people. Since this person have built, have buy a car, I have not buy a car, is a lie. You, you can buy a car, you can have all those things on this earth, but glory be to God. Glory be to God, you are living life. But what happened on that day shall tell how it's going to be. A day is coming 
when men shall be gathered and you must give account of how you build the house of God, how you labor for God, how you do according to the will of God. We can also read in the book of uh, Sec, uh, first King chapter 8, 15 to 21. I don't know my time have gone like this, but because of time, we will not go further to read that place. We can read also in, in Second Chronicle chapter 3. Let somebody go there. Second Chronicle chapter 3. Second Chronicle chapter 3, just one. Second Chronicle chapter 3, just one. Then Solomon began to build the house of the Lord at Jerusalem in Mount Moriah, when the Lord appeared unto David his father, in a place that David had prepared in the threshing floor of Omar. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You can see there what happened, how, how Solomon decided to build the house of the Lord. If you go further to, see, to read, you will see how Solomon built the house. In the book of Genesis chapter 22, verse 2. Genesis 22, verse 2. Let's move there. Genesis 22, verse 2. Today, many people have neglected what they should do. They are waiting. Even the church that are preaching righteousness, People are no longer interested to say, no, I must build the house of God. I must be a part of this project. Are we there? Genesis chapter 22, verse 2. Are we there? And he said, And he said, yeah. Take and now thy son. Sister, hold on. Your son. Sister, hold on. The brother is reading already. Sorry for that. Okay. Go ahead. And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son, Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Morah, and offer him for a bound offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee. Are you, okay, Israel. are you saying it now? That is how Abraham built, his, built the house of God. By offer his only son to build the house of God. When the Lord requested from that, Abraham did not hesitate to say, Lord, I can't do this. You know, this is my promised child for 22, 25 years. I will not give to you. Am I right? Did Abraham say, yes, I will take it for complete 25 years? No, sir. That was a precious, a precious son to Abraham. Mm -hmm. But Abraham used it to build the temple of the Lord. But decided to offer it as a sacrifice. But the Lord... After that, what happened? The Lord exalted him above every other man that lived on this, on that, this planet. That is the word of God. You could see that. That is what is giving us. That is what is making that make us to be father and uh, children of Abraham today. Why? Because Abraham decided to uh, decided to, to give to God that wish that is so precious to him. As a Christian, as a believer. What are those gold you have been you have been gathering for many years? For many years. What are those things? When the Lord requests all those things for you to use him to build his own temple. But many Christians are saying, No, I can't do that, Lord. You know that. This is this this thing, this money, this house is so precious. I can't give to you. You have to hold on first. That is what many people are not doing. But the Lord does not want such people to be his own children. The people that must be God's children must be people that are willing to work, to give the best out of their life, to say, Lord, you are the one that give to me, and I take it as you decide. I take it as you wish. Let's read in 1 Kim chapter 6, 38. 1 Kim 6, 38. Please, a fast reader, are we there? Verse 38. Yes. And in the seventh year, in the month, well, which is the eighth month, was a house finished throughout all the parts thereof, and according to all the assertion of it, so was he seven years 
in building it. Are you saying, Hallelujah? Are you saying it now? That is how it be. It is. It was because the instruction was given how the house of God, how the temple must be, how the temple must be built, and it was so. It was so. David uh, Solomon did not look. Solomon did not look at how cost is go, the, the house is costing him. Solomon did not look at that. Solomon decided that he is going to use the best thing to build the house, to build his father's house. Because Solomon knew that yes, God, God has called him. We can also read in the that the same chapter. Let's read two. Let's read two. First King chapter six verse two. Are we there? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The mm. people, are we there? The people on Zoom, are we there? Let's read our Bible. Uh, are we so, yeah. Go First came chapter six, verse two. Nobody is there anymore. And the house which King Solomon built for the Lord, the length thereof was three score cubits, and the breadth thereof twenty cubits, and the height thereof thirty cubits. Are you saying it now? That was the side of the house Solomon built for God. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, the Lord is communicating to all of us this morning. Have you built the house of the Lord? Have you decided to build your own house when you have not even built the temple of the Lord as a Christian? You could see the apostles of old, Apostle Peter, Apostle Paul, Apostle James, Apostle Stephen, all the apostles of old. You could see that all of them, all their intention all their desire is to build the house of the Lord. To make sure that the gospel of Christ be, be preached all over the world. These people, these men of old, did not think of their own personal interest. But today, Christians are not think, Christians are not after their own personal interest. Christians are not after the material things. Christians have neglected what, neglected what God desires for their life. Christians are not ready anymore to want to suffer for the sake of Christ. Christians are not interested to do that any longer. What Christians are interested, they are interested to have their own selfish interest. Beloved brothers and sisters in the Lord, that we must know what God requests for us. God gave David the plan of the temple by revelation of the Holy Spirit. It was by revelation by the Holy Spirit. Let's read in the book of First Chronicle, chapter 18, verse 12. Please, let's be fast. First Chronicle. First Chronicle. Let's read there so that we see how the it was given to him. It, it 20, First Chronicle, chapter 18, uh, 28. 28, 12. Are we there? 28, 12. Yes. And the pattern of all that he had, he had by the spirit of the court of the house of the Lord <clears throat> and of all the chambers round about of the treasuries of the house of God and of the treasuries of the dedicated things are you seeing it it's okay god bless you said stop there you can see there that the instruction was given as the holy spirit instructed not according to his own personal interest but as the holy spirit the holy spirit directed him maybe the holy spirit have been telling you my son my daughter the gold and silver you are having those things i want to use there in my temple do you keep to in do you think it to in Begin to build your own and neglect God's own. But on the last day shall tell. God has sent all of us to come to this earth, not according to our not our own selfish interest. Everything we do on this earth must work, must be according to as the Lord instructed us. But today, many of us are no longer like that. Beloved brothers and sisters, 
if anything right now happen, can you give account to God, Lord? Yes, the earth you sent me to. Look at how I work for you. Can you do that? Can you tell the Lord, Lord, yes, on the earth I give you the best of my life. Why will I not enter heaven? Can you give such an argument? Eh? I'm asking you a question. Can you give such an argument that the Lord, the Lord, as you send me to the earth, I really obey your word. I follow you. I do all the things you instructed me. Therefore, beloved brothers and sisters, if that a day have been set aside by God, that he is going to judge us according to all we have done. In the book of 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 10, and 11. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that we will receive all the reward of the thing we have done, whether good or bad. How God is telling you that he wants to use your mouth to speak, you say, Lord, no, my mouth cannot, my mouth cannot speak. How God was telling you, I want to use your hand, how you say, Lord, no, my hand cannot be used. How God said, my son, I want to use your money. How you say, Lord, no, this my money belongs to me, it's not your own. All these things I want, all this, you are going to receive the reward of it. If, how you kept your money in the bank, how children have been, how children have been, have been abandoned, and then at the end, all these things are going to be revealed. All the things that I'm doing in secret, in private, all the things are going to be revealed on that day. How I failed not to build the house of God, how I was having the money, but I allowed the money to be in the bank for my own selfish interest, how the house of God had been abandoned. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want you to bow down yourself this morning and think about your life as a Christian. Who are you? You are finished your you you are even finished your first building now. You are talking of the second building. But the house of the Lord, you never think about what can I do to build it with the best of my own. Bow down yourself right now and talk to God. If you understand the message, bow down your head and say, Lord. Look at who I am. I have been, I have neglected your old program. Many of us have taken God's program to become secondary program. No longer first. Why can't you talk to God this morning? Talk to God this morning. Tell him to help you. Tell Jesus to help you. Tell him I have heard the word. I've heard the word. I've come to know that now it is a time. The church that are preaching holiness. You can see today, even the Christians that claim they are holiness Christians, how they are not, how they are not jeopardizing with God's program. When we talk of uh, we want to do program, many people don't have interest anymore to say, now nah, I bring my money, now nah, I go to go and evangelize. Many people don't have interest of that any longer. Beloved brothers and sisters, bow down your head and meditate about your life. Is it time for us to work, to return back to work, to the standard of God? It is a time for us to return back to how God wants us to go, not to how we want to go. Bow down and talk to God and cry to God. Eternal Father, I want to appreciate you. Lord, you have talked, you have made us to understand the time we are. Time of building, building God's temple. Build them. The Christian don't bring, bring building people, people that have been prepared for rapture. Heavenly Father, we have heard it. We are calling on you to help us. We are calling on you to open our eyes more and more. You always do often and often to speak to us in different angles. This morning again, you have taken us to the other side. On the other side, to let us know what we must do in this time. Heavenly Father, we are calling on you this morning. Help us to live according to your word. Help us, Holy Father, to stand by Father and to build your temple and to build the kingdom. Lord, my Father, that at the end of this journey, O oh Lord, we will have the cause to rejoice. Heavenly Father, I pray this morning, keep us going, keep us moving. Keep us protected. Lord, deliver us away from selfish interest. Selfish interest of not going to evangelism. People are not giving an excuse. Excuse in different angles. Lord, help us. Help us. 
People have decided when somebody is saying, give the, give the, 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 the little one you have. People are saying, Lord, you know that this is the little. I will not. Lord, I pray. Help us to understand your way. Help us to know you more and more. Help us to keep him into your project. That at the end, Father, all glory and honor be unto you. Blessed be the Holy Name for all your children that are listening to this message. I pray that this message will not stand against us on the last day. Lord, I pray that this message, O oh Lord, my Father, that I have preached this morning, I will not be a castaway after preaching the gospel. Lord, help me. Help me, O oh Lord, to give the best of my life, to give the best time to you, to give the best time to you, my Father, to give the best of my life for your sake, O oh Lord. Lord, this is my prayer. Holy Father, help me. That at the end, your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, you have heard the word. It is now, if you find out that uh, the place where you have been going, you are believing, you are not really living, according to the standard, God is telling you, go back. Today, I saw a pastor, a pastor that said he's a pastor. Now, in August, you cannot reach the pastor. The pastor often. Pastor, the pastor said the whole August that nobody can see him, nobody can reach him. That is inferior. The church have closed, the church, they, they are inferior. Are you seeing it now? This is how many of you are still inferior. Say, Lord, no, I will not do this thing because I'm inferior. That is it today. People want to be inferior. People are sleeping they off their phone that nobody wants to get. No, they don't want anybody to disturb them. Why? You are inferior. You are telling the Lord half time, I'm inferior. God will help us because God is going to judge us Christians. Before he will judge the world, he will start with us and deal with us. Please, our Sunday service come up by 9 a.m. And uh, it will not be on the on Facebook. Please endeavor to connect to the Zoom. It's going to be Zoom is going to be on. Even this this Zoom is going to be on. The other Zoom in the church is going to be on. Anyone you can use out of the two, any one of it, and uh, two of them they are going to be on. Please. And uh, our children's program today will come up by 6 p.m. But uh, before that, six, if uh, there will be change, you will receive the message on the WhatsApp group because of uh, I don't know how. My program is going to be today in the church. Or when I get to the church before we know that, please. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the sweet fellowship on the Holy Spirit, bless and bide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely may his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Please, uh, before I forget, the marathon program, the marathon program may kick off tomorrow. All the people that, that are interested of that marathon program, endeavor to contact me because that program is, it may kick off tomorrow. Please. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our life will be safe and secure in the name of Jesus. Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our going out, our coming in, every activities of today that's be safe and secure in the name of Jesus. In the book of Micah 7, 7, Wherefore, I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. In Jesus' name. May the Lord be a light unto you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless all of you. And have a blessed 